I was provided with a product sample to test. This will not affect my opinion about the product. Watch the entire video till the end to see my product rating. Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the Lotus brand, their LTP5000D plasma cutter. It'll cut 5 eighths of an inch or 16 millimeter with a clean cut, 3 quarters of an inch or 20 millimeter, a severance cut at 50 amps. It's non-touch pilot arc plasma. We're going to show you what that means. And it's best to use this at 240 volts. It will work 120 volts. I'm going to go over all of that. I recommend using 240 volts for this system. Uh, the company offers a 30-day money-back guarantee and a one-year new replacement warranty. There's 2,400 excellent customer ratings. And it, it includes a very nicely written uh, instruction booklet in color to help you out. So we're going to discuss a lot of things about this. This plug that it comes with, they don't show on the listing, but this is a very specific plug. This is a NEMA L6030 and it's uh, common with generator outputs and a lot of plasma cutters will use this plug. You're going to have to uh, have a plug that works with this with a generator. You're going to have to have a converter plug to convert it to 240 volts. I'm going to uh, be showing you that to you and I'll have a link in the description for that product. But every application is different so just plan accordingly what you're going to need but again I highly recommend you use 240 volts. This knob right here will control the power. We're going to eventually power this up and we're going to test it. It comes with two sets of replacement tips on here and it has a ground connection that has a loop right there of copper which is nice and this plugs in with a lock piece right on there they call that the positive that plugs right in there and locks in place and then you have the actual nozzle itself and the nozzle has connections on there and there's a green ground and these plug right into the front right here and this connection right here is very important it has one of these quick uh, rotation pieces on it so that you can easily rotate this but what this does is that your air goes into there filtered air from the system and it appears on the end of the torch itself now this is non-contact, which means that as you go near the metal, it's going to start forming, as you go near the metal, it's going to start forming the arc, so you don't have to actually hit it like with a uh, torch um, lead, this will automatically go. And then the air is going to be sent into this, and that air is channeled in such a way, combined with that arc force, to create the weld. There is a safety on here, which is nice. So you can't accidentally hit this, you have to go and open it and then compress that red button right there. This is a very generous length. We're going to show you that when I open this up. It allows you to reach what you're working on. Some people in the reviews uh, change this to a longer cord, but we're going to use this, what it comes with on here. So what this is unique about is that they've developed the 25% increase in the actual uh, cutting ability of this. And what they do is they take the 220 volts and they convert it to a DC voltage. And uh, these DC high current voltage on there, that's how that works. And that's what's being sent through this tip on here. And that's what's cutting and doing the plasma arc cutting on there. That combined with the actual air. So that 25% increase is what makes this unique. And uh, people are just uh, loving this. So I'm gonna just show you some demos of some welds, of some uh, plasma cutting from customers that I got on Amazon. And uh, you can just see how effective this is for cutting all types of metal. It doesn't have to be thick, it could be thin, it can be 16th of an inch. But it can go up to that really thick gauge metal if you need to and you can you can satisfy the requirements of the 240 volts 
and you want to give it uh, 30 amps at that level. If you're going to go to 120 volts, you're going to have to have a 40 amp breaker. Um, and again, I wouldn't recommend that. I recommend you go to the 240 volts. So I'm going to quickly show how this was uh, shipped in a nice box. And they had a lot of styrofoam and they were totally protecting the accessories uh, and the unit itself. So this torch on here is a, a, a newly designed upgraded torch and consumables and it, uh, they guarantee that, that uh, you get precision cutting and increase durability, uh, much longer lifespan. So your overall costs are lower because of that, plus they include some extras as I showed also. Now on the back of this, you have to be able to give this thing air because if you look at the front of this, it's got a really nice air pressure gauge and it's in PSI. And you're going to be uh, feeding this thing air in the back we're going to show. You pull this out and it allows you to adjust the air pressure in there. Some people were mentioning that 40, 50 PSI. So you got to have a pretty decent compressor to be able to keep that air. Now, if you're using something that's thinner, you can definitely cut back and put less air. There's be a lot of experimentation here till you get to the right level for your application. So how this thing gets air is on the back of the unit itself. Let's turn this around. And here is, is on the back of the unit itself. Let's demonstrate this. Here is the on off switch. It's a lit switch, very, very heavy duty, high quality. And you notice there is a fan right there and there was air intake uh, slots on the front. So this fan is going to draw air through the electronics. And this is what's nice. This is already assembled. It has a standard air connection on there and it has a little drain plug right there so that as your incoming air comes in and it gets condensed a little bit, compressed, water will form. And this allows it to take the water out of the system because obviously you don't want water going into a nozzle when you're trying to get high temperature cutting action going on. Now back here there is all the specs and everything telling you about what uh, what power, what current you need and everything, the power factor and so forth. So they got this to run really efficiently and again this is unique that this is this, right here the connection and you have the ability to filter the water right there and keep it all clean on your inlet. So before I power up the LTP 5000D, I bought a converter cable right here and this will allow me to plug into my wall. This is the NEMA 1430P male and this is the L6-30R female. Now this is 30 amps at 250 volts and this is going to plug right in just like that and then you twist it. So whatever application you have, if you have a generator, like I mentioned, this will go right into it. If you don't, get whatever you're going to need to run this at 240 volts. So here I have it plugged in with the adapter. Now it's connected to the welder connection right there. And I have my air connection right here. And it fit perfectly. Now I'm going to connect up the front of the plasma cutter. So here I have it powered on and I can control the power right there and I have all the connections on. You can hear the fan going and I have my ground connection. I got a clamp and I got the metal right there. Now this is thin metal I'm going to try first so I'm not going to put uh, too much courage into it. I'll put it about 20 and I got the pressure set right here to about 30 uh, it looks like about uh, 40, 50, 45, 50. I'm going to have the camera kind of far away uh, so that the arc doesn't damage the lens. Okay, now I'm going to try a thicker, this is 
three eighths of an inch thick steel and I just ground down the paint and the, where the contact is going to be the ground. I'm going to try this next. It just took that thing, cut it like it was butter. Now, when I get more practice, I'll be able to make a perfect cut with that. Okay, so what do I think about the Lotus LTP 5000D? I love this product. As I demonstrated, it worked great. It's the first time I've ever used plasma cutter. It was very easy to do. I felt really confident and safe. I love the safety on here and everything on here worked perfectly and you could see there's just a slight amount of wear in there minimal so this is going to last a long time that tip i love i love the power control on here very simple and you could also change the pressure quite easily on here which is really nice and it locks in place like i showed so what do i think about this product i'm going to give it a full five star rating Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to alert to new video uploads. And if you thought this review was helpful, please hit the like button. There will be an ordering link in the information section of this video review. Please use that link when you order this product to help support this channel. I hope this video review helped you with your buying decision. Thank you for watching.